Hello friends, welcome to Applied Programming Tips and today we will talk about uh, X unit. So in this tutorials, I will set up X unit 2.3.1 from scratch in Visual Studio 2015 and in this tutorial our agenda will be to get to get the answer of these given questions. So our agenda is what is x unit to understand what is x unit and how to set up x unit 2.3.1 latest version in visual studio 2015 and how to create simple test project for n unit testing by x unit with fact and theory so this is a newly uh, test you can say test keyword like uh, you have already i know you have already aware about test, test fixtures, test method, test classes. So similar like that here, fact and theory in X unit. So and uh, we will run test, X unit test in console runner as well as in Visual Studio 2015 text explorer window, right? So let's uh, try to understand what is X unit. X unit. Uh, .NET is a free open source community focused unit testing tool for .NET framework uh, that is written by the original inventor of n unit v2 so if you uh, know about uh, n unit uh, uh, then you uh, can go back to my uh, youtube channels and you can get uh, more information about n unit uh, there you can uh, from there you can get how to set up n unit in visual studio how to write your uh, unit test cases uh, using n unit so uh, if you want to know more about n unit then you can go back to my uh, youtube channel so uh, here but here we uh, will only talk about x unit so but uh, here uh, n unit v2 uh, are, uh, is uh, referenced so just I uh, I just explaining it uh, uh, the, in, the, in, the original inventor of any unit version 2 uh, uh, created this uh, X unit framework so uh, that is uh, the, uh, designed by Kent back in 1998 X unit .NET is the latest technology for unit testing. You can write uh, unit test cases for C uh, language C sharp, F sharp, BB .NET, and other .NET languages. So, uh, other thing is X unit .NET works with Resurfer. Resurfer is you know a kind of a Visual Studio plugin. Uh, it's actually basic, uh, actually it is paid tool. And there is code rust, test driven .NET and Jamarine. So Jamarine is uh, basically uh, third party tools. By using that you can write, uh, uh, you can uh, develop a mobile application for uh, cross platform like Windows, Linux or uh, Mac. So it is part of the .NET foundation and operates under their code of conduct. It is licensed under Apache 2 and OSI approved license. Right, so uh, by using xunit.net, you can write unit test cases for cross platform. Right, uh, and unit uh, support uh, you can say multiple language, it support uh, multiple platform. Right, so this is the best thing for best thing of xunit. So you can say uh, uh, unit uh, xunit uh, xunit.net is free open source. It supports mul multiple language. You can say it's a uh, it's have uh, uh, language interoperability and uh, also it support cross platform. It means you can write multiple uh, you can write test unit test cases for multiple platform. And uh, here is a sample code uh, how to write X unit uh, test cases. So here is fact and you inside that you can see we are asserting and checking whether it is getting pass uh, getting pass or not and here is theory 
so um, there is a bit difference between fact and theory don't get confused uh, about uh, fact and theory both are different and both both has different purpose so like uh, theory is used for uh, running multiple uh, multiple uh, times uh, to a particular test cases for example here you can say my first theory will run three times so theory is used for such kind of scenario and fact is used for uh, you can see here uh, like test method or test right so so there there are two way to run x unit uh, test cases either you can run it uh, uh, through a console runner either you can run it uh, through the visual studio 2015 so i will show you in both both i i will show you both way uh, how to run in console runner and how to run in visual studio 2015 test window explorer so let's jump into the visual studio so that i can show you uh, how uh, it works uh, practically so let's jump into the visual studio and let's try to uh, set up uh, X unit uh, in Visual Studio 2015 so you can see here uh, what I'm going to do here I just going to create a, a class library here is simple class library and let's give it name X unit demo right and let's try to create uh, this class library and you can see here uh, our class library project is ready right so uh, let's open nuget package manager so that you can see here we don't have uh, any x unit uh, component here so let's try to install that component here and you can see here if we and if i navigate to this project folder so nothing there is uh, no package and there is nothing inside it except initial files so uh, let's try to browse uh, x unit right let's try to browse x unit and it will it will give us the component so you have to wait for some time because our internet is our internet is slow yeah and now it is here so we will install x unit here and you will see here we will be getting x unit component right so it is in progress so uh, we will be getting three four components uh, related to x unit and after that we will uh, we will install uh, x unit runner console and after that uh, we will install um, uh, x unit runner for uh, visual studio so it is trying to uh, discover all the dependency once a dependency will be discovered and uh, discovered then uh, then x unit will be installed in this this project so let's wait for some time so you can see here resolving action to install package x unit 2.3 and here we go successfully installed x unit 2.3.1 to x unit demo so here all the package has been installed like you can see here x unit abstraction x unit assert x unit core x unit execution desktop right so let's uh, copy this code let's copy this code from here and let paste here in in the this right so uh, we we uh, haven't uh, in, uh, included here x unit so that's why we are getting we are not getting this fact so let's uh, try to resolve it 
and now we are getting that one here is one method uh, that is uh, it is basically checking whether uh, supplied value is uh, odd or even so let's copy this method as well and let's try to uh, paste here right so now everything should fine and everything is fine now right so uh, let's try to build it right let's try to build it and let's try to open window explorer and let's try to see whether our visual studio is able to uh, discover this test method or not so you can see here our visual studio is not able to discover this one right so uh, if, uh, for now i haven't added any console runner or visual studio uh, uh, plugin for uh, x unit so i will i will uh, install uh, x uh, unit uh, runner console runner right and i will try i will show you how to uh, run unit uh, x unit test cases in uh, uh, x unit runner console so let uh, install it let install it so see it is getting installed and it has been installed right so it has been installed so you will get this package uh, from here you can say x unit runner console has been installed so you will get it uh, from uh, package so you can just go here and inside the package and you can get uh, uh, since our targeted class library is uh, 4.5 uh, you can see here uh, from project property so it's a 4.6.1 so we will uh, we will go into uh, we will go into 4.5 right and here our console runner x unit console uh, act 6 exe right so we will open uh, our command prompt from here so you can see here our command prompt is here right so what we are going to do we are going to run our uh, since uh, we haven't installed any uh, uh, visual studio plugin so we are not able to uh, identify the test method inside the test explorer so for now uh, i will run it in uh, in console uh, runner so i will write i will write x command for uh, command to run uh, x unit test cases that is x unit dot console and you have to uh, copy the path of the dll of the x unit test cases so uh, here is the path so let me let me uh, let me write the full path of the dll so that i can run it from console so you can see here this is the full path of uh, uh, full path of my test x unit test demo dll so i will just uh, paste here and i will run here i will run here and let's see what happened see so my first theory so uh, uh, you can see summary from here test execution summary x unit demo total five we have five uh, tests uh, case uh, you can say five tests uh, five uh, five facts uh, are theory so uh, in which two two tests uh, have, have failed and uh, three has uh, three have, have passed so in in the console you can see uh, it is showing failed test cases that is uh, my first theory value 6 and failing test these uh, are two test cases that uh, have uh, failed right so let me show you why these two two uh, test cases uh, has failed so you can see here uh this uh, ha has passed and this has failed 
why because we are adding 2 and 2 it should uh, 4 not 5 so that's why it failed and here you can say in in the odd method we just uh, checking odd value the, since 3 is odd odd and 5 is odd then 3 and 5 uh, uh, for 3 and 5 value this uh, assert passed but for 6 si since 6 6 is not odd value then it is uh, getting fail uh, for 6 right so uh, uh, 3 3 uh, fact or theory uh, passed but 2 uh, uh, fact or theory get failed so that's why you are getting here uh, two test cases uh, uh, fail the region are here right so this in this way you can run your yux unit test cases in the console runner and let me uh, let me try to uh, run these these test cases in the visual studio uh, text explorer so in in order to that you have to install uh, yux unit uh, runner uh, visual studio so we will install it in our current project and uh, then in that case we will be able to uh, we will be able to find um, yux unit test cases in the uh, visual studio text explorer so it is uh, taking some time so it's attempting to get the dependency information from package x unit runner and here we go successfully install x unit runner visual studio 2.3.2 x unit demo so let's try to build it and now i should able to identify those test cases so see i'm getting those test cases here you can see i have just written fact two fact and three theory right total five test cases right so you can see here in the visual studio for each inline data uh, this um, test or this theory uh, will call right uh, my first theory call for three my first theory uh, for call five and for my first theory will call for six right so here listed one two three four five test cases so uh, you you can run it through uh, now since you have already installed uh, uh, x unit runner uh, dot visual studio so you can use visual studio text explorer and you can give any command that you uh, get uh, with the ms test so let me run all the test cases and try to see what happened so it is running so you can see two test cases failed and three test cases passed right so uh, this this is all about x unit uh, x unit uh, setup and uh, how to set up in visual studio 2015 and how to run x unit test cases in uh, console runner and how to run an unit x unit basically test cases in visual studio runner right so i hope you guys enjoyed uh, a lot if uh, you guys enjoyed then please like share subscribe and uh, press on the bell icon so that i can create new video for you so thank you so much for watching and bye till then